Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about edit points for rooms. All right, so let's get into it. So what we're going to do is create a room, but number one, we need to know the grid system. What is the grid in here? I'm going to go check in here, go to show drawings and then go to grid settings. Right now it's uh, my grid system is 12, 12, 12. I'm going to change it to six and then six and then six and then six. All right. So just a little bit of background on this video. Edit points are very important since not every room is rectangular. So what do I mean? So if I go clicking here and make a room. So if I make a room, for example, 10 by 8 or even 10 by 9 like that, like in the video, see 10 by 9. So go there, go there, 10 by 9. So my room is 10 by 9, but not all the rooms are going to be like that. Usually, if it's a bedroom, I'm going to put in here a bedroom. See? Usually, if it's a bedroom, it has a closet. And what if the closet is 6 by 4? See? 6 feet by 4 feet. So you have one option. So 6 by 4 feet would be you have in here, see? six right and then you have in here you we're gonna put another dimension we're gonna put in here four there we go right okay so i want to add i'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so let's make it bigger so that way it makes sense to put a small uh, a small closet there we go all right so i'm gonna add a closet to this bedroom okay and i have two options Option number one is create another room, make a closet on the side, and leave it as a closet. All right, there we go. Closet. Okay, so every bedroom usually has its closet. So this is going to be bedroom number one. Therefore, this is going to be closet number one. Okay, so if it's closet number one, if you if you put this as a different bedroom, it's going to account for CFM. In other words, you're going to be putting a diffuser in this room. So if you see on the ducts, you already have a diffuser in the closet. You already have a diffuser in the bedroom, right? This is the system and this is the return. But usually when the closet is small, if the closet is small, we just add it to the bedroom. We don't provide conditioning. We don't put a diffuser. We don't put a register. In that case, when the closet is small, what we have to do is we need to make the bedroom one and the closet as one room. And that's why I'm saying it's not rectangular. And now you understand the concept. So in this case, I'm going to make this room as number one. So I'm going to I'm going to talk this ab about this, uh, my favorite tool, which is the merge option in another video. But you have option number one. You can do the merge option. You're clicking here, clicking closet and merge. That's the it's so beautiful, right? See, as a one option. But I'm going to be talking about in, in another video about that. So and I'm going to do undo that uh, operation. Okay. So in this video, what I want to talk about is that was option number one, right? To make a merge, to merge the rooms. But I'm going to delete this. There we go. So what is the reason of this video is to know what is to edit a point, okay? So what I mean is we're going to change this rectangular shape. Let's click on the bedroom. And you have in here green dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So this is a very important tool that is located next to the ruler. This is the ruler. See the ruler? right here, the ruler. And next to the ruler, you have what it's called edit points. Once you select the room, you go here, edit points, you click on it, and automatically it changes the shape. As you can see in here, it's black, 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 black point. So this is very important and you have to be very careful about editing points. At times it becomes very messy. At times it becomes not, uh, it, it doesn't become, it, it's not comfortable. It's not good. So have some patience 
and li do it little by little and edit points will be all good okay so by saying that let's have some patience in the room let's let's enjoy this video i mean let's enjoy this video and let's start with this once you go to the corner see once the, once you go to this corner of the edit point my cursor my pointer it's not going to be an arrow anymore it's going to be it's going to be this shape as you can see that shape right that shape if you go here that shape and with that you can drag remember you hover over and it changes shape right do do on the corners do not do in the lines unless you can also do on the lines see the cursor is different yeah but let's let's let, let's not confuse anyone so let's cover over the black dot and it changes like this and we're just gonna drag it drag there we go a little bit less there we go now what can you do to make it in here for what you can do is again I'm not going to go to the corner. I'm going to go to the line itself. And you're going to hover over the line and it's going to create a shape again. See, did you see this, this symbol? It's like a cross. All right. So grab that and it's going to make another point right there like this. See, it's creating uh, another edit point. Now what we need is go until here, right? You don't need the corner. I'm going to go to the line. And did you see? It changes the shape. Go there. And it will make it like this. There we go. And then you can hit escape. Which didn't do anything. Right? So it didn't do anything. Okay. In order to get out of here, go to the edit points and click. There you go. You are all good, right? I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. HVAC is in my channel. Have a good one.